In my latest book, The Neuroscience of Effective Leadership, I talk about how toxic environments breed toxic leaders. And I've just recently delivered a talk on this, how to deal with toxic leadership. And I use it, or I explain this using the triangle around toxic leadership. Because when you talk about this triangle, I talk a lot about toxic leaders, I talk about toxic environments, and I talk about toxic followers. Because we have these people. And it was just so exciting that people looked at it and said, wow, this is exactly what is happening in our environment. It's like you were just predicting, it's like someone told you exactly what was happening. And we're just so glad to have you talking to us about this. Now the question is, would you like me to share a similar experience with you, where I can share with you what are these three main contributing factors to toxic leadership and to toxic workplaces, to toxic environments, because that's what steals companies' productivity. That's what steals companies' creativity. That's what steals companies' innovation. And if you can fix that, then you'll start to see that people are going to wake up looking forward to go to work because they know that they are treated not just as economic beings, but as social creatures and as social beings. And I'm here to help you create that environment where people are going to look forward to come to your workplace and make a positive contribution. So are you ready for that? I'm sure you are. And I'm just waiting for you to reach out and let's work together.